What's up, everybody? This is one of your hosts, Mike Cannon. I am taking this precious advertising time and money out of our pockets to tell you that my new special, White Privilege Homeless, is now streaming up on my YouTube, youtube.com slash Mike Cannon Comedy. It is available. It is free. Share it with a friend. Like it. Thumb up it. Comment it. Share it. Subscribe it. Do all the things that stroke the almighty algorithm's ego. It all helps Get the word out. I appreciate the support. All the messages have been super cool. And uh, let's keep pumping this baby out. YouTube.com slash Mike Cannon Comedy, White Privilege Homeless. Comment. Let me know that you're here from Here's the Scenario. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. And I, I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I am old. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Here's the Scenario. You know what it is. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Sags, and uh, I am one of the co-hosts of the show, being joined with me, as always, by Mike Cannon and Mike Feeney. You gave up on me. I and didn't. I, I saw it in his eyes. I didn't he quit gave on up you, on me uh, hosting the show because no. no, I was excited because he would live. No, his no, I looked over to you when I and I fumbled. I'll notice. And I looked over to you, and you went. <laughs> you were like notice? you were like this. Thing. <sighs> I saw. I, I saw it. Um, wow, I saw it happen. He means a lot. Your your opinion means a lot to him. Well, I was like burrowing a hole in yeah. him with my eyes too. Just yeah. you know. I was, about, I was asking we, for perfection and you didn't deliver. And you know the deal. I know you're 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 trying to uh push me. What are you the, saying? But why are you de- like We're also here. Why are you our, breaking down what we're doing and just do your thing, which is it's supposed so to be hard hosting. <laughs> Here's the scenario. Uh we also have a guest once again this week. We're out here trying one of the funniest, you know, from the real ass podcast and the Midnight Spook show. And and bye guys. Put your hands together. Very fun show. <laughs> Put your hands together for Zach in college. Amico. <laughs> Close in colleges across the country. <laughs> a stapler hanging from his dick. <laughs> Thank you for having me, gentlemen. You didn't Thanks even say it. it. Zach Amico. I, yes, I did. Yeah. Zach Amico. That's me. Welcome Yay. to the program. Welcome to the Thank pro. you for letting me be here, guys. Hilariously, we, uh, we asked Zach, we're like, all right, let's explain the show. And he goes, it's scenario? <laughs> yeah, well, you're the only... Guess that's ever done that. You read the title, and if we all agree on something, we convoy. Well, that that I think pe- the guests can figure out as it goes. He they never. Go, Why are they all? They were. They were. <laughs> he <laughs> never figured it out. If we all agree, we all hey convoy and uh, Anthony Devito just never figured it out. He was like, uh, he's he kept like, saying, what? "What's convoy?" He kept going choo choo. <laughs> 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 and if you want to support us more. Um, uh, go to patreon.com slash scenario pod. That's the stuff where you get just exclusive, uh, exclusivity of our projects nope. as well as, um, a bonus blunts with the boys episode. And we have a lot of fun. Yeah. So, uh, let's get into some questions. If you're new, this is what we do. We get questions from the Patreon first and then the Instagram of scenarios. What ifs F Mary kills and other stuff like that. Would you S a D for three hundred dollars? Nice. You have the timer going, and you know that. And I have the timer going <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> Our first question comes from <laughs> Alex the Truck at the Patreon. Would you rather have tickle torture or waterboard torture? For- waterboard, waterboard the birds for uh, for an hour. Tickle torture. Or waterboard. Tickle torture because at least at the end of the hour, you'll have like six pack abs from all of the convulsing and laughing. That's so true. And you will have laughed to the point of tears versus, you know, drowning, which is <laughs> which is what painful. happens when you're waterboarding. <laughs> yeah. No, they don't drown. They get you right to the point of drowning right. and then they take it and up. They take you back. I'd yeah. actually rather Jesus. that because I feel like it would give me clarity. Yeah, I might get a boner from that. It would give you nothing. <laughs> you would, that's like, Imagine, I just love it. Yeah. That's what they like, do say. Like, do. waterboarding as a technique can't possibly be effective, which I guess they proved that it didn't, right? But it was because 
anybody will tell you anything they want to get you to stop doing that. Yeah. And then, and then even, or they're the people who are never going to tell you and they know the game, which is like, you can't actually kill me because then you'll get nothing anyway. And you're torturing me for no reason, but oh, man. that happens a lot more. That than must you. be so psychologically messed up, dude, to just be like, I guess I'll die anyway. So, you know, to be in that position. A part of me sees myself like being at, at that thing where I go, I mean, I'm, I'm in so much hell. I'd rather be killed, like kill me now, you know? And then I, I could also know. see myself uh, so getting real, cuffed dude. into the chair. I That's could so real. I could also dude. see myself getting you cuffed. Suck. <laughs> I like that. Um, seeing <laughs> yeah, validated. It could be, yeah, it could be. <laughs> I could also see that scenario, right. Of me being like, I'm never saying anything. And uh -huh. I can also see the scenario where the second they handcuff my wrist a little too tight, I go, it was Jonathan. Jonathan's yeah. the one you want. Yeah, and yeah, I give yeah. up everybody. Else. Oh man. Cause my brain would go, I'm giving up everybody. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if they're really torturing me, I mean, if oh, you know, like if they're doing what if they they're, say, if they're, they're about, they're using oh, the word in its correct tone. If they're yeah, if they're about to kill me, like I, I'm not gonna snitch. If I'm, or who knows? Maybe I will. Dude, I you probably would give up will. In four seconds. No, You'd come be on, an absolute soft target. Have you seen the movie The no Recruit way. with Colin Farrell? No, and Tom Brady's first wife? No. Uh, it's it shows a torture scene, and I don't think you could make. No it way am I making torture. No if, way. No way, dude. Uh, no way am I if I'm getting tortured that I'm keeping information in. Like I'm giving it up <laughs> yeah. immediately because I'll look at it like, look, you know, if you're gonna kill me, kill me then. But you're gonna have to find me, okay? Like the, as the people I'm ratting on. You know, you don't rat and then just go back home. If you're getting tortured for whatever information that you want that bad, I'd, I'd be so good at disappearing. Uh, yeah, you disappear. Sounds, sounds, you disappear. And they dude. always go to the wrong it's place. Over. They always You're go to the wrong basically. place. They kill. They kill a bunch of people in New York or California, and then they move to like Utah or they move to like the South. To it's like you got to be in not even Anchorage. I mean, you got to be long out of the country. I'm going like taking a map and yeah. going. What's the opposite? I'm like, okay, Australia for me. That I'm going somewhere in you Brazil. Gotta, like, a lot of Bali. fake documentation though. Oh, but you only need that to get through that once. Once are they there. letting you go though? Don't they just take the information and kill you? Well, if they that's the well, other then thing. who cares anyway? You're dead. So then, well, just, so then, but then, then you're, lies. exactly. Then, you're then don't be a coward. Then don't be a coward, and then you're known as a rat. Yeah. yeah. But then it doesn't matter because you're dead. So Sag, who Sag cares about your legacy? A uh, whatever. <laughs> my, <laughs> my legacy. I'm dead. I don't care. Fucking. Why are you doing this all this? <laughs> <laughs> you see me, man. You see me. Then why are you doing all of this? Is how I think every single day. <clears throat> Is that why I think isolate. every single thing? Then why are Please you Please isolate this? that Brendan's re reaction to, to someone this. finally <laughs> seeing me. <laughs> I see it, man. What did you say? I see it. I said, I said, it doesn't matter if you're a rat and your legacy is tarnished, whatever, because you're dead. Sure. And nothing matters when you're dead. And Fair. then Feeney went, then why are you doing any of this? And it was the first time <laughs> he had I a felt he almost... a hand coming through the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> <It> felt... <laughs> but why? He pushed you back in. No, I, I reached out. No, I was, you reached. It, no. I could see tears. He, he They were at the... His eyelid, and they yeah, were it is yeah. about to cry. He yeah. blinked them away. <laughs> I go you know run, you, look in the mirror. You know when you blink away <laughs> crying when it's like getting close, and you yeah. just <laughs> you constant. blink it away. It is a constant. So I'll take tickle torture. I think yeah, I'm terrified of drowning. It's yeah. like one of my biggest fears. Yeah, but tickle. I'm not gonna fart and shit the entire time of being waterboarded. Yeah. If you tickle torture me, <laughs> that's bad for the whole room. <laughs> I'm going tickle torture just because I have a defense mechanism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. That eventually they're like, let him go, open the window. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you just start to spray shit again <laughs> yeah. as soon as they tickle you. <laughs> Nothing more embarrassing than being tortured and farting at the same time. Are you time. being restrained though? Because I, I, have you ever been tickled to the point of fist fight? I have. Yeah. My friend tickled me to the point where I just started throwing blows and I hit oh, him in the I face. Hate it. I hate it. It was crazy, it. dude, because if there's I've something... definitely never done that. Oh. Like the like the punching stuff. I've had the yeah. like, all right, get off, and you like shove them that. off, but yeah. I've never it never like had two people <laughs> so, square no, up. No, no, I've never like, squared up. Poor, with somebody poor because Tim, of it. my ex, uh, uh, my my ex, my ex uh, co-host, we uh, and best my bud, ex. we uh, <laughs> <laughs> he would oh at, at points in his life would just see me 
lock on to me and decided he was going to dominate me physically in that moment. Like he was a That's wrestling. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and it's crazy. And it would happen at parties where he was a wrestling coach one year and he just would routinely grab my wrists and try to get me into wrestling stuff. And so after a while, he was so successful at locking me up and hurting me that he would approach me and I'd see the look and I'd just fire a punch at his face. Oh first my thing. God. Now that I is very different than face. tickling though. That's what I'm thinking. Like, <laughs> that I get. I, but that's not at all yeah. what you said. It? I, but it's kind of not. No, it's well, there is <laughs> tickling is also physical domination to the point of feeling on a helpless. Much, on, but it's making you feel good while it does it versus but the other one, which is just, in? it is. Well, you tickle them. Why are you hurting people? But digging Stop in hurting is tickling people. also. Digging. No, I, mean, I can tickling. Tickle, does I can hurt. Tickle. Rough tickling. It's a, yeah. yeah, you can yeah. get you over can the clothes. No one's really touching. Hurt. Over the hour, tickling. you're gonna get real sore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nobody's like. I bet I could tickle you. Don't. Oh, <laughs> next, <laughs> next stuff. He's gonna next stuff. Him. He's very Speaking ticklish in his neck. Well, they're behind the knees. There's behind the knees. I'm not. I'm a toe. A foot guy too. Yeah. I oh, feel like foot, I kick a foot per- is like, when I've like I've healed people like yeah. you know, yeah, but yeah, not yeah. like it just out of like you're a foot a, guy. I'm a foot guy. Like that's about eight inches no. further than I've heard. I want to be a. <laughs> 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 That's fucking hilarious. All right, let's go to our next. There should be a here. compilation on podcast of me doing math three seconds. <laughs> it's yeah. it's pretty. You're it's, looking it's off the yeah. I'm so yeah. bad. I'm so there bad at math too. that those jokes take me a second. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, this one comes from Tubbs. Um, I wrote this one. <laughs> Here's the scenario. Ocean's Eleven. You're all tasked with creating a distraction while a team of professional thieves rob a big casino. What is the distraction? You have $10,000 to pull this off, and you can't ask anyone for help. Just the host and guess if applicable. I've got it already. I am taking the $10,000. I'm giving... Zach, five of those dollars because he doesn't know I have ten thousand dollars, and then I am tickling him until he sprays shit. <laughs> yeah, in the Mine was be spray spray shit. and then and while they're doing that, then we go break up. I got yeah. nine thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars. That's that's a good that's good. I just watched the Curb episode when he needs to make a distraction, so he walks into the hotel lobby and he goes, "I can't open this jar of pickles," and everyone's like, "Well, let me take a crack at it," <laughs> and he creates this big like, "Well, let me try, let me try." Yeah, and someone yeah. has to sneak in. You know what's um, funny about that which is like it's such a hilarious i remember that scene it's so yeah. funny the funny part is it's like he actually then would mean he would have to find a pickle jar that was unopenable because <laughs> everyone was like let me yeah. get in there <laughs> or you really? glue it it was like the sword and the stone or you, can you or glue, you it? glue it yeah if you have glue <laughs> you open it up put glue on the inside of the top but i the think if, if you put glue on the inside of this i think that'll well, seal right enough, up dude no i would have enough. no you put super glue inside the the super top glue. Of the jar yeah and then you close it and leave it for like 20 it's minutes covered. it's always been super glue. always super yeah. glue. never never elmer's. was elmer's never are we was, talking uh, about are, we're not talking about elmer's are we yeah, or no, like those glue sticks, sticks. <laughs> I, dude, I, sticks are useless those things stick i like them when you had like to put something on the cardboard so you go like just hit bang 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 you oh, know yeah, it was the but it always was fun drawing the little I used to act like it was jizz. Oh. <laughs> what are we talking about? What else for? Sticks? Elm. Oh, the Glue. sticks. You ever use the ones in the jar where it's like, if you, it was like the huffing <laughs> ones. Yes. <laughs> yeah, never, yeah. Oh, with the brush? Yeah, with the little brush. Yeah, yeah. Those things sure. are fucking gross. Now take that, extra strength that, and put it around a pickle jar. Like super glue. Are we just talking about how Larry David filmed the scene? <laughs> He's like, it's What's really not question? that compliment. It's going to create a distraction Complable. for a heist. Yeah. I think it's gay sex or heart attack or gay, both. No, no, gay sex is it'll be broken sex. up way too fast. Heart attack during gay sex. Yeah. Yeah. You see it, to, two old dudes like the under the boardwalk and always sunny. Yeah. Just plowing each other's ass. And when you're just so disgusted, but ready to also tell them to stop, one of them drops dead of a heart attack. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like this also. What if I'm walking with a glass jar and I go, I drop it and it's filled with just like ash and I go, my mother's ashes. And I start screaming and trying to pick help. it up and make a big scene. Now you can't do anything that will make other people uncomfortable. Cause if I'm walking by and someone's like my mother's ashes, I'm like, Oh, that's, and I'm just going to keep walking. Yeah. But you're if one you, of the bad people. I'm, yeah. This is where we, we're people, in a casino. Most people are bad. Okay. <laughs> casino. You ready? Walking stick, sunglasses, 
So you go blind. Blind guy. And drop a bunch of money. Like oh, change. That's a good idea. Can someone help me? Dropping money. So you or, take that's 10 of those dollars, a- get it put into quarters, nickels, dimes. Uh-huh. Put it in something. Blind. Drop it and start feeling around on the floor for your money. How could? How many people could that distract, though, you think? At most. Like yeah, but five? Are gonna pay Some people don't want to about silly thing. What about your bag? Mm-hmm. Similar thing. Blind. You have a bag. You open it, and all this loose cash blows out. So people now are in the dilemma of whether or not to return it to the blind person or to scoop it and get the fuck well, out of there and get the fuck out. I like the idea. I was hoping you were going this way with the blind guy. He unzips it and a bunch of squirrels run out throughout the casino. Now that's so now a good people idea. People are trying to get the squirrels up. They're trying to get knocked a bit. People are terrified. Everyone's scurrying. Everyone's you scurrying. You need to be blind for that. <laughs> no, you can. Um, being no, blind, but it's more fun. Being blind, <laughs> you play a part. Be, yes, you do have to be blind. Kind of stick. Yeah, yeah, you do have to be blind because later on, when they go, "Who was it that did it?" I don't know. It's this blind guy. Blind guy. They're and gonna ask. Here I am. So many more being questions. Blind. Blue blockers. No, wait. Uh, I think they did this in my high school. It is a good idea. My, it, <laughs> I, I don't think I, it was when I was there. It might have been just before. But they did that thing where they got pigs and then labeled, like painted one and three on them, and then yeah, like, I've heard that with loose. chickens. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, and it was a whole fucking thing. Definitely expulsions, non graduations, all that stuff. I might just, I might, I might. I'm thinking like, all right, so you get me and Brendan. You're at right, one and three, <laughs> <laughs> and they're looking for another colorful fat man. <laughs> Somebody looks like they just get hit with tie dye water balloon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's oh. so funny. Um, who's the guy that was like that would throw like dust out of his pockets? Gold, Gold dust? dust? No, no, I know. <laughs> no, no, no. He's at the end of all the jackass. He's movies. the end of jackass. Yeah. And he's uh, like, Rip Whoa! Taylor. Well, what's his name? Rip Taylor. Rip oh, Taylor. yeah. Me, Zach, and Rip Taylor. <laughs> Is that, that's, a, that's a more like glitter, right? He's throwing or something? Yeah, I guess glitter. What did I say? Sand? Dust? Confetti. 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 Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking yeah, just dust. go in to the casino. And um, just go to the casino, guns a blazing. <laughs> oh, cool! Buy like a smoke Shot, or some sort of like flashbang bomb. Why'd you just look over your shoulder? Because <laughs> I'm talking about weapons here. I don't know. <laughs> you two guys in hazmat suits might drop from the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Ow! Um, <laughs> I hit my hand on this thing. Uh, Get the thought out and hurry up. <laughs> guns a blazing. Flash you bang. see me, man. <laughs> <laughs> and yet That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> we didn't even have to say a word. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. cool. <laughs> Very cool, you guys. Now, throw a flashbang. That's it. Go, so your, your idea panics. of a distraction Get is a there. terrorist attack. Get out. We yeah. eat the food. Yeah. Dude, just Or hire somebody to run, run in. Pang, pang, pang. But, but what that's, do you no, think? that's what you do. So this is what Brendan does, right? I don't know if you've been to casinos. They're full of a lot of pangs. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're going to immediately look for the safe. I like the Dunkin' in Donuts in the pang section at Mohegan Sun. <laughs> <laughs> there is a pang section at Mohegan yeah. Sun. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're, you're putting... Uh, uh, an emphasis on why would people come in and start shooting and then they're going to start immediately you're going to send all the security to the vault to be like yeah. let's make sure no one's robbing that's it. true oh, yeah well I have a you're gun you're arousing well. suspicion yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah what did you do what did you do Oh, there you go. Everything. I, there it is. I, did. I guess I manually unplugged <laughs> it. I was is there any, blame does, Nicole so hard, dude. <laughs> does anyone love anything more than old Asians in a casino love smoking? Oh, no. I, I understand that, dude. I, I get it. If an Asian in I would general that smoking guy. a cigarette, yeah. no yeah. one enjoys anything more. No. No. In Bali, when we were there, everybody's in catcher's position everywhere. Like yeah. That's their comfortable position. Well, that's, it's that's it. uh, they said only Asian people can maintain the flat-footed squat comfortably. How? It's a genetic thing. So like, no, that, is that, but also no, is that the scared, bird of just, China, the flat footed squat? No, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> the flat footed squat, or no, the tub girl. Uh, no, it's literally like, uh, it's also Brendan, what it said is his gym teacher wrote as great. <laughs> He's the flat footed squat. Yeah, yeah. So or like Brendan, ass to the ground, feet flat. The way Asians sit behind the restaurant and smoke when there's not um yeah 
uh, uh, box for them to sit on. <laughs> that the only Asian people can maintain that. Any other that's, race, you like tip one way or the other. That's, really? That's not some like does Django Unchained. I feel yeah, like, like I could do that. Leo would say, or no. like no, if it, you but, look here yeah, yeah, at yeah. their foot bone. <laughs> I, they, they I always see tip. through walls. I didn't know it was genetic, which I'll <laughs> yeah. I'll do my research. Yeah, but, uh, let's, let's but, not just co-sign that. But uh, no, I will. But uh, uh, I don't think that's racist. research it. I don't think that's racist. But I do think it's something that they do since they're like yeah. children. Like you that, would think that's if just that was the way because when we were co- when we were betting on cockfights in Bali, they were they were literally just that ripping butts. And yeah. there is no, I wanted to do it, but I tried to get down and like my MCL clicked out. I, my I could probably off. do that for like a good time, a good while. No way. Do it right now for, yeah. for yeah, one minute. Put the minute. mic down. Put the, no, you minute? can say, yeah. yeah, point the mic towards you. Okay. And then you, you can just go right there. Yeah, there you go. And like this. Low. Uh, rest on your heels. Yeah, flat yeah, footed. Yeah. Flat footed squat. Yeah, yeah. But to the not ground. on the but to the ground. Not on the front. Are you on the camera, Nicole? Does he have to move closer? Uh yeah, you're good. If I go like this. Oh, hold on. Like this? Yeah, you no. can't hold on to the chair. Yeah. And also back your ass up a little bit more. Yeah, you put on your heels. Yeah, yeah on your wait heel. on, on your heels. heels. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> move closer to the mic. <laughs> Don't make me move, man. Oh, uh, you're going. Gotta figure it out. Yeah, drop your butt. Hold on. Drop your butt. Are you timing? Yeah, I am. It's already been. He's. Oh, oh, oh not even eighteen seconds. Eighteen seconds. Eighteen seconds, though. You That's said well good. over a minute. Yeah. You said I could stay here for a while. And also, you never got into position. Yeah, you were constantly adjusting. All right, I'll start it once you get into the proper squat position. And get close to the mic now. Well, you need to be like. Get in. Talk. Talk. No, hold you the mic. You need to be like. Oh, that's not that good. Part. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah. You need to be like, you need to be like zen about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is this it? No. You have to drop your ass further. Maybe I gotta get closer. Oh, I heard your knees, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like the walls of the Titanic. Okay, hold on. Or the, I got it. Hold the, on. the weight of the water <laughs> yeah, buckled it. <laughs> like just right before it burst. All right, hold on. I'm still not starting because Ready? your ass isn't low. Fuck. You might have to take off your can... pants because those <laughs> jeans aren't like flexible that's enough. Lo- that's as low as I can get. Wow. You know, well, so then there the you answers, go. You yeah. did it for zero seconds. All right. I'll... All right. We've proven you're not Asian. <laughs> <laughs> you would think. That there would be more if that is true that there would be more Asian catchers. Yeah. There's very few. I'm sure there is in Japan. Like I'm sure that's a prominently played position. Hmm. Right. Yeah. I bet everybody's trying What's to catch. What's the question? I bet Banks. every I bet bank heist. Oh, we're still on that? <laughs> Move on. Is it the bank heist? Well, now we're just discussing Asian people. Now we're just, yeah. <laughs> and their genetic differences from <laughs> our race. Uh, casino heist. Casino sketchy. heist. I heard casino went Asian cigarettes. Yeah. Now, <laughs> well, and then I had a fact. Nicole, did you look any of this up? <laughs> this whole podcast is just pangs and flat-footed squats. <laughs> Wait. Nicole. Title. Yeah, I don't know if it's genetic, but it's saying that because we don't really do it, do that very culturally. Often, we don't have reasons to squat. Sure, I can yeah, believe that yeah. culturally, Asian people are. Imagine more... having a shit in a hole every day. Yeah, that I, 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 I call bet fucking that's, my wife. I bet it's better. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's better though. It's your guts th- just drop. It's the same thing as like a squatty potty, yeah. like how you how you build up your legs and yeah. your legs are up, and it's just a straight line from your fucking colon to your hole. My Poland. life's so different after the uh, the uh, bidet thing. Now I've uh, I never feel, I could jerk off to a bidet. I never feel clean shitting anywhere else now. At this oh point. man, it's disgusting. Yeah, what are you gonna walk around with like kind of dry shit on your asshole? That's what everyone apparently does. Not me. You have a bidet at home? I do. Yeah, no, you, you got don't. one. He got one. I have one, but it's not set up. But I do have one. You don't oh, use it at all. Look at this fucking no, but it, phony I, like, bitch. You're a phony. I also have one and it's in the you, box. I'll, Am I saying I'm not like, get out of here. I, at least first you of all, that's not wet phony. Wet. First of all, that's it not, is phony. It's that's the not exact phony. exact definition of phony. You said something that was no. true, hence phony. <laughs> to, to, no, I, to raise your status. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Phony bitch. <laughs> all right. All right. Now I understand. Um, but here's why I know, because I uh, usually shit in the mornings give a good fucking wipe, head right into the shower, and clean my butthole that way. Mm. Yeah, but what happens? That's not at all. Uh, that's not a bidet. Taking a shower after What's shitting the, is yeah. not... It's like a standing bidet. Yeah. yeah. But your For whole your body whole gets butt. wet. Yeah. Yeah. You just yeah. a handstand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a pool is also yeah. a bidet. It, the shower, do you have the removable... Yeah, just... Do you have the removable head? 
No. Well, then how are you? Then it's not like a bidet because that water is going down. The bidet water is going up. <laughs> I'll tell you what's going up. Yeah, how are you? My even, finger what are you... is up my fucking asshole when I'm cleaning it. Oh. You think I'm just, I fucking get in there, dude, with soap. Do you know what I like to do? You put it on a- I like to go face against the wall and pop my <laughs> cheeks back and see if I can get the stream. <laughs> Me to too. Me ass. too. I do that too. Yeah. The soap. No, I don't. R on it? No, no, no I have no, body wash. His hand. I, I have body wash and you shit. put it on your I, hand. You see your hand put it on my hands. the soap bar No, and not a washcloth. No, washcloth would be a good idea, but no. Okay. I clean my asshole with the washcloth at every hotel room I go in. Oh, and yeah. And just throw it right in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> every one. I, I sometimes don't even shower. Sometimes I just put hot water on the washcloth oh. and real deep scrub on my ass. Wow. And I look at it and it's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> and I just. This is one of the dude, worst right things the I've ever heard and I want it to end. When me and. Uh, <laughs> right in the garbage. I, I was at. If a- I'm getting off a four hour flight. I mean. Oh, you no, right course. now. I, I uh, After the four flights I get of stairs. That. I get that. Yeah, no, I get it too. The whole, but I'm a, whole, I'm a wet wipe guy. Now okay. that I've had, wet when I, good too. since ever since I've had a baby, it's I am wet wipe. Yeah, because your pussy uh, was destroyed. <laughs> but, but, yeah, and it continues to leak, so so I have to have these on hand at all times. But I am a real big butt sweat fella, and you know it does become quite a situation down there. So now that I yeah. carry all of these water wipes, it's the best. I yeah. read an article that was actually an ad, but I was stupid. <laughs> and it was for this coffee scrub specifically for eating ass. Oh. And it was for gay guys. And it was something to scrub your asshole with that supposedly made your ass taste like coffee? nothing. Whoa. Wow. It was like supposedly it was like, like a numbing bath, right? gel. Well, it was for your partner. So your partner doesn't taste asshole when they lick your ass. But, but I but thought that's that like fifty percent of the fun. But it was yeah, that's like, <laughs> it's like getting a chicken sandwich and not tasting chicken. Yeah, um, why even do any butt stuff if you can't stick your nose in her asshole? <laughs> and uh, I read What's it, question? not realizing that it was a specific brand. So then I just bought regular coffee scrub for the shower and washed my asshole with it. And I didn't know those are half sea salt. <laughs> my asshole felt like it was on fire, and I was. Squatting, ironically, <laughs> in the shower like a dog trying to scoop water. Up my <laughs> <asshole>. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't. That didn't feel good. A little bit. No. Wow. No. Uh, and, 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 you don't think so? Well, a, no, because he just told us. Well, and, and it sounded maybe. like he was in terrible pain. I was in terrible well, maybe. pain. There is sometimes. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. I see you. Um, I don't, see you. Don't, don't take your. Don't take my. I see you. I, I just took it. Well, I gave I it to you, you before, and now I'm giving it to you and Zach. I'm banking on one with you as well. But I have had you, some moments where I've I'll eaten. Never uh, see uh, Zach. And, and <laughs> after this, I, I guess we'll get off assholes. But uh, <laughs> but I've that? had a hot meal like <laughs> spice on the you know pretty high level on the Rick scale uh-huh. and then when i'm shitting it's it's just it, yeah it's the batmobile it's a single <laughs> flame directly out of the back of my vehicle and there's a part of me your body that, goes whoo- <laughs> 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 hit me hit me come on I'm shit, I'm shit, I'm shit, I'm shit. your pepsi master wayne <laughs> <laughs> It's one time I, burp. <laughs> I don't want to bury another way <laughs> <laughs> On that day Mr. Wayne I, I want to <laughs> okay. uh, But there's a part that's that Of that sensation that's that's quite nice It's pain mostly uh-huh. But a little bit of it is like man My ass is on fire A little bit A little bit yeah. is kind of enjoyable If, if your butt feels a certain way Yeah, it's Like getting your uh, salad tossed by the devil Mm-hmm uh, this next question comes from JP. <laughs> Would you rather have the hiccups every day for a year, doesn't affect your sleep, or have to stutter for two years, but it goes away whenever you're on stage? So oh. stuttering does not affect our job. I'm also going to say this, right? Until you lie in and when you're supplying, stutter, 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 stutter. Do you stutter. have the hiccups on stage and on podcasts? Uh, yes. Just said, oh, you do? Well, it's he says the hiccups, you have it every day for a year, but it doesn't affect your sleep. So the only thing the hiccups don't affect is your sleep. Stop <laughs> saying it like that. There's your... so much spit in your sleep. mouth. It doesn't affect your sleep. Um, but the stuttering one, it, ju- it doesn't affect your stage. Time. Assuming podcasts count as yeah. stage time, which I do count. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't get booked. 
<laughs> uh, I'm going stutter. Yeah, because that hiccups, dude. You're you're gonna have so much agita, and like you're yeah. you're gonna ache. A lot of pain. A yeah, every time pain. you try to like swallow a drink, it could go oh, up. Dude, <sighs> I've ha- have you ever uh, had hiccups during a set? I was so drunk on stage at LOL once that I hiccuped from the second I got on stage until yeah. until well after I got off, and to the point where like comics were coming into the room and laughing because I was like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, dude, <laughs> trying to say jokes and be like, and then I was like, <laughs> you also <laughs> you also did that insane. at New York Comedy Club because I remember being there that yeah. night where you were so yeah. drunk and you like you'd be doing bits and then you'd hiccup and you that's go, where fuck no that's and where everybody was. would laugh New York yeah it it is if like. It, you're not getting any jokes done. No, you're not getting any jokes done. You're gonna do. You'll you'll get hiccups and you're gonna get laughs just by being like, "Fuck shit!" <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, killed for fifty. <laughs> yeah, but it was that. There's already a stuttering comedian, right? Yeah, he was on uh, Drew. Drew. Got talent yeah, him. Drew Lynch. Drew Lynch. Didn't he yeah. win? Or if not yeah. win, then pretty close. Right. Yeah, I think he, he just did a close. HBO thing, but he uh, he beat yeah, so, ju- He what? beat Vader. I thought, oh, so I hate room. him. I thought, a, I thought like a, a dog beat <laughs> Vader. <laughs> dog? Like it was like a dog that could like balance on like one of those. Or he was balls. second or third, but he was on Vader season because uh, we watched the results live on LOS. Tom Cotter. Do they have a lot of comics on like at, in one yeah. season or would they have like, I thought they would do like one it. comic a season. Let's do a couple. Ooh. Interesting. Are you looking? You looking to get in? I, I did audition for them once, but it was this what like big. What bits did you do? Uh, it doesn't even matter. They were, it was just like, it I does. That's why I definitely asked. did sleep apnea a bit. Definitely. It was like in doorbell? this. No, no, no. This was a while ago. I didn't, I didn't have doorbell yet. <laughs> I, I didn't evolve into doorbell. The, wasn't one. Of, it wasn't my bottom bitch at the time. <laughs> I didn't evolve into the artist that would create doorbell. The artist formerly known as doorbell. <laughs> formerly known as sleep apnea. <laughs> now known as now I'm just doorbell. Um, but yeah, it was like, it was definitely like, uh, I mean, I was there all day. It was like, it was, there were so many people and we're in a high school and we're all in like the cafeteria and they're like, number four, two, five, five. And you just go in and they're not paying attention, but you're with a bunch of people too. Like they're like, they get you all in a group and they're like, okay, show, this is a show of your talents. And you go up and you, you did a, I did Wait, my, while they're also doing their thing. <laughs> they're in, no, they're in the back. Yeah, there's like a juggler on stage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> yeah. We're all trying to get the attention of these interns. So no, there's two people in the back behind the tables and they're not paying attention. This was my experience. They were not paying attention at all. Uh, I went up, I made a bunch of like cheerleaders laugh or something like so, I mean, like that. Made a bunch of cheerleaders laugh. No, they were like a dance. Good for you, Fonzie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you no, know, it was like a dance troupe. It was like one where they like kind of all look the same. You know what I mean? Um, wow. <laughs> a bunch of pongs. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm, I'm really enjoying how stoned you are right now because you're latching on to such innocuous parts of the story. You're tell- it's it's un- taking Real. So long, They're like uh, yeah, they were cheerleaders. No, they were dance squad, but they all looked the same. You, you know you, what I mean? You, <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you talking dude, about? You haven't even begun to tell the story yet. You're, you're doing it. the prequel to the story. I the story. So anyway, uh, then I sucked. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just the whole story is I didn't get you it. bombed. Yeah. No, it was it was fun, but they weren't paying attention. Yeah, the people were laughing because they're all excited, but the people in the back who were supposed to be like, yes, they got it, weren't paying attention. Do you know what I did? That was something similar to that it was uh you ever see those conference rooms where they're like get a headshot today or like male yeah. models actors kids all whatever <laughs> yeah come here show us your talents we'll get you an agent it's like a pedophile ring so i got hired to do comedy at one of those <laughs> and i would like go in in between like child gymnasts and fucking actresses delivering monologues and like do 20 minutes of crowd work i had to do that <laughs> three times oh my in God. between acts come out and like do 20 minutes Minutes of bits, crowd minutes. work, whatever the fuck. So I did 60 total minutes for these fucking half desperate, like 60 year olds with the look of like, I'm going to take a life in their eyes. What did that then, pay? Uh, it did like 1200 bucks. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's good. I yeah. I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you would do it for free. 1200 <laughs> yeah. Damn. I was going to ask for just free chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do this? Hey, 
<laughs> Nuggets, <laughs> breast, wing. I'll take any any I, sort of chicken. I, a headshot. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> I went to one of those and uh, like as a person. Well, yeah. When I first started comedy, like my first year, Same, they they I went in one of these. Tests. Yeah, I went in. I went into God. one. They they hit me up. Hey, we're an agency. We're looking at blah blah blah. And I they'll went, usually put the name of a TV show. So like I think with the first time I went, it was like you know Thirty Rock now casting extras. Yeah. And then you show up. And it's just a headshot, a shitty ghetto headshot company. Mm -hmm. And a guy will come out and explain you need headshots. And they're going to get you work. But the headshots are going to be $1,500. Oh, yeah. And then it's like some other black dude in a leather jacket. will be like, this is Lamont. He's the photographer. You can go sign up with him now. And it's just some guy behind like a little table. And it's obviously they're never going to call. Oh, my again. God, dude. Like, and I, I, I never I got out. that far. That's wild. I walked out in like five minutes. Did oh, you pay them shit. already? No, 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 no. You you showed up for what was the audition. But they definitely got people. And then oh, once yeah. you get yeah. there, it's they rent a room in like an office building. Yeah. And they definitely leave it after two weeks or after a month. Yeah. And they just pull it and they. Oh, it's boiler room shit. They go from city to city. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the well, phones are coming with an AK 47. <laughs> no, I. Uh, well, that's the alternate ending to boiler room. Is it? Mm -hmm. oh. The alternate ending is that guy that that dude is like. What is that on the DVD? I mean, you can get it on YouTube, but yeah, it was on the DVD. Oh, no shit. Uh, he comes in with a fucking AK 47 and he kills everybody. Whoa. Yeah. Weird fact about Boiler Room. I listened to it before I saw it. What do you mean? It was like on the plane, but it, this was back when like the planes had one movie. Like, yeah. That, like one yeah, thing. Yeah. And I was, uh, it was not on the front of the plane. Like I, I couldn't see it. It was nowhere visible to me. So I just listened to the entire movie when I was like eight. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Good. It's a good movie. Yeah. Um, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel's in it. Uh, ben Ferrari. What's ben up? Affleck. Ben Affleck. <laughs> yeah, Ben Affleck does a so real, there's funny. a full like absolute, almost shot for shot rip off of Glenn Gary, Glenn yeah. Ross. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 He yeah. walks in, he's like, I'm rich too. Yeah. I live on the $1.5 million mansion on the South Fork. <laughs> That's what he said. It's so good. Uh, I got, I, I probably would have done that, but, um, like I met with the person, she's like on the computer and she's like, uh, yeah, we got to get you headshots, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't have money. So I like call my mom. I'm like at uh, Nassau Community College and I'm like, mom, I think it, this is it. <laughs> I'm like, I think this is the. Uh, it would be one of many times he had <laughs> lied to her <laughs> in the interest of gaining her money. It would be many times that I've lied to myself about it being it. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, but I <laughs> and she's like, this is a scam. She was like, don't do this. This is a scam. And I'm like, you don't believe in me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a scam. They see my true talent. <laughs> you know, shit like that. And she's like, it's a scam. Don't do it. I'm not giving you money for that. And I went, all right. I was like, okay. And I went, my mom's not giving me money. Like I told them, I'm like, sorry. You know, and they were like, they really were pushing. Like, almost got you. They, yeah, Almost. they were really pushing. They were like a like a. Can you open yeah, a like, credit card? They, they're like an Something army. Like they're like an army recruiter. Yeah, they're like if they taste <laughs> they it, they're like, they is there any other signature. way? They, if they taste it, they're like, is there any other way that you can get this money? You know, they like. I'm like, no. Like I had to be like, stop fucking talking to me. They're oh. like leeches, dude. Next. Um, but before we get to the next question, speaking of leeches, let's see if I can do this. Speaking of leeches, you know what sucks? You guys. Not supporting oh, us. Are, Shut up. If they're listening, they support. Who were you saying that to? Come on out. Come see us. What do you got to plug, Zach? Hit me. Just check out my other shows. Uh, Zach Miko's Midnight Spook Show. Real ass podcast. Bye, guys, with Ian Fidance. <laughs> And uh, I got a new movie out, hashtag Shakespeare Shitstorm. Nice. That's screening all over. Hell yeah, oh, yeah dude. That's awesome. Hell, uh, yeah. So I'll do what Brendan should have. Here's the scenario.com for all things podcast. Get our social media, get the links to the iTunes, rate, review, help the visibility of the show. Support Zach as well with all things he does. He's the man. We've been on all of his shows Hell yeah. in, in various combinations and other things. I mean, I watched the worst movie of my life with Zach and it's a, actually a fond memory. <laughs> yeah. Like that's a, that's how much I love Zach. It's the worst movie, a love on a leash on Amazon. It's the worst movie of all time. Oh, awesome. and I love it. 
because I was with Zach. But uh, here's a scenario for all of our stuff. Patreon.com slash scenario pod. We do a bonus episode every single week, plus all of our individual content as well. We got vlogs from Alaska coming. It's a, you know, we haven't been able to push those out just yet because Nicole is wildly busy with a lot of stuff for the special as well as the, uh, the crowd work special that is going to be coming to Patreon early. And uh, speaking of specials, this is after May 18th. My special is now out on YouTube. Thank you so much for everybody. Half a for million views. Half a million yeah, half a views. Million in one Pretty night. great. It's yeah. watch. It's already been like removed. <laughs> <laughs> for violation, community guideline yeah. violations. <laughs> I'm like, well, that was a good run, everybody. Yeah, 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 You'll yeah. see it in 60 second chunks on TikTok. That's yeah. right. That's right. Well, now 10 Some minutes. Of it. Yeah, now 10 oh, yeah, minute they, chunks yeah. on TikTok. 10 minutes. What a nightmare that might be. <laughs> uh, so either way, youtube.com slash Mike Cannon Comedy. Continue to share. Continue to subscribe like comment all that stuff uh, let it run while you're not in your room just constantly let's game the system let's yeah. make people think i'm uh a, you know successful enough to you know book pay etc at all <laughs> yeah uh, so again thank you so much for everybody that has watched it and uh we are we are uh, recording this ahead of time so i don't know how things are going but i'm sure they're going fantastic I'm pretty pumped. yeah and uh you're you're overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and, uh, yeah, I'll probably yeah. cry. Yeah, and, and, and R.I.P. Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> it was a sad day, kind of. <laughs> MikeFeeneyComedy.com for dates. Uh, at I am Mike Feeney across all social media, TikTok, Instagram, uh, you name it. Also, twitch.tv slash NYFreshMaker. Playing video games with my boys and sometimes alone, but most times with my boys. Saglo, yeah. Shuli, uh, fucking, who else? Butterly. With? Butterly. Lewis. Lewis. Uh, uh, Jason. Does Kim ever come? Do you ever? Kim has Kim? played with us. Yeah, yeah. Jamie from Rogan played with us once. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty fun time. It's an eclectic group. It's fun. Uh, so watch that. And otherwise, yeah, I don't know. Come, come see me. Come see yes. Me. And while you're on Twitch and you're subscribing to Feeney's channel, go. Why don't you go over to mine and check mine out too? And yeah. Subscribe there. Sags to riches, as well as follow me on Instagram and uh, Twitter, and check out brendansaglo.com for my road dates, and support the Patreon, please. Nicole. That's a big one. Nicole C. Lyons on Instagram. Woo! All right, this next question comes from Paula Johnson oh, Paula. over at the Patreon Hall. Would you rather no belly button or no nipples? No belly button or no belly nipples. button. Because belly button yeah. feels weird when you go in when you go in there, you know? Well, I like deep. that. You like that feeling? I like when I go, <laughs> yeah, I got a deep <laughs> belly button, dude. It's a little bit weird. But when you but, uh, push that little thing at the very end hurts. of it. Yeah, it, like, it yeah, hurts on painful. the inside. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, I'm not digging into it like that. <laughs> and like, you have never been a... nine years old. No, but yeah. I, I, my belly button is, is so deep and it recesses so much that I can like push it and go, whoa. Every time. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like, <laughs> I think I like grow hair in mine and I'll like go in there and I'll, <laughs> like I'll go and I'll like feel it in there. Don't, don't, don't show it to us. Your like, belly look, button there's, it's right there. I mean, we're going to get take monetized. your belly button out. <laughs> well, Mike, as we know, it looks enough like a wombat's asshole yeah. for us to lose everything. As we know from Bobby Kelly, Mike's nipples are too low. So I assume you were going to go the no nipples route. They are not too low. <laughs> and they've been squared off since then. I Maybe I was in not that good a shape and I wasn't doing enough chest exercises, but I've really focused on the lower part of my pecs. And I think the pecs uh, look great. The nipples are just lower. No, 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 no. They're up high now. <laughs> They're up high now. They're, They're up high now. I, 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 can see I gave my practically through the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Through the top I, of the shirt. Yeah. I see your nipples through the here. top of the shirt. <laughs> yeah. They're right up here. <laughs> oh, like Frankenstein bolts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my nub. I mean, this is an easy question. It's no belly button. No yeah, belly button. Of course. Because I don't need my belly button squeezed when I can't come. <laughs> 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 Next what, question. what would you rather yeah. though if you could have uh like the conehead ass always freaked me out do you remember what that was it had no crack no hole and like oh. two pegs at the top no <laughs> sorry <laughs> i just never saw that movie so i meant to i meant to say nicole no. can you google conehead ass and bring it up please uh, cause I'm curious if you would rather, I, I, I don't know what the other choice of this is, but this is like the last thing I would want to happen to my body. Like just oh, no, yeah. no like ass crack or hole and two pegs like that. Like I haven't seen this movie in years. It would just years. like come out of the pegs. No, I don't know where. What are those pegs? Do, does he shit this guy? 
Yeah, what are the pay? I don't know. I guess it's nice for your wife to hang on yeah. to. I don't know. Well, what are the benefits of not having an asshole? Are there any? No, he's what probably shitting out of question? his mouth. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get into asshole talk again. I guess. I mean, I'm totally down with asshole talk, but <laughs> let's get into some Instagram questions because we want to thank the people that also send us questions on the Instagram. That's right. We ran out of Patreon questions. No, we got more. We got uh -oh. more. Uh -oh. But uh -oh. then, then read those. That. All right. All right. I wanted to give the uh, Instagram people. Let's get the, let's get the paid people taken care of. Yeah. All right. I get it. Cerna style. No, sort of style. Here's the scenario. Robo comic. You are caught in an explosion. They are, they are able to save you, but have to replace 80% of your body with a robot body. Ooh. What is the first joke when you return to stage? <laughs> Some of you may have noticed I've lost a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> if any of it was just still your head. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So guys, you may need, you may need to forgive me tonight. I might be a little rusty. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only joke. I can't. Oh, yeah. 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 What it's about uh, hurting my head trying to top that? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, what look about so, you guys? Or you, you guys look sip. so good tonight. <laughs> get it out. Get you it guys out. Look, you guys look so good tonight. It's really turned me on. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of that. <laughs> what a lot of that. What do you mean? I would just go up and go, whoop, whoop. hello, how are, just kidding, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> I have robot legs. Uh <laughs> uh <laughs> I would drink, I would drink a, like this, like a bottle of water. <laughs> yeah. And just like, that's good oil. <laughs> <laughs> or go like this every once Why, in a but while. But it wouldn't actually be oil. Right, it would have. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's water. It's very clearly water. But I'm or every I'm a robot. You every, say. Yeah, every once in a while during your set, you like you you do a joke. It gets a big laugh. You go, mm. oh, just kidding. <laughs> you know, because water would. I I uh, water water would short would circuit short circuit you. <laughs> just kidding, everybody. <laughs> you the lip a lot the of mic. the jokes <laughs> is just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just the, kidding is doing a lot, a lot of, of the, the heavy jokes. lifting. <laughs> <laughs> or you're gonna think I'm a robot, but I'm a sentient being just like yourselves. Yeah, I have feelings too. I have feelings too. I'm like, hey, by the way, your fridges—they're all talking shit about you. Yeah, my <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's a good one. Yeah, dude, that is nice. That's How? really great. Oh, stop. <laughs> Uh, Brendan goes to like talk to somebody in the crowd and accidentally put his finger <laughs> yeah, through their my, chest. My finger expands, goes right through. Whoops. Sorry. I forgot I, I have the T1000 power. I really have this under control just yet. You still have your arms under control. Brendan, I have counted no less than three times during this podcast, has gone to reach for his water and hit the top, yeah. the bottom of the table yeah. with his hand. I just said it, I'm but I got talked over and Brendan immediately like thanked his lucky stars, but he accidentally smashed his lip against the microphone right before. There's no, I, I talk real close to the microphone. Yeah, but you also have no depth perception. You know so you I, have a tough time deciding where your lips go. This is what you do. You get up on stage, you grab the microphone and you go, what this do? Um, what's this doing up here? And then you put it in your pants. You go. Ah, I'm just kidding, everybody. <laughs> now we're talking, dude. Now we're fucking. Talking. Now we're cooking. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Mine's more like you an iPod have... Nano. <laughs> now you suck. Well, you know, I'd say a tag. It would work, and I'd listen to it. Is that why you but said that? But that's a microphone. Why would news? it be an iPod? Because it's in the news that they're, the news. they're discontinuing the iPod Nano. They still work. All right, this is what... Yeah. Th okay, then instead of iPod Nano... You haven't read that? You haven't read that? that? <laughs> I'm not up yes, you not signed up for the Times? <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't follow the Times Do on Instagram? you read the New Yorker? You mean that fake news media outlet? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this next question comes from Brandon. Uh, would you rather eat the same meal for dinner every day for the rest of your life or never be able to eat the same thing twice? I want to say I would eat... Oh, this is his answer. I want to say I would eat something new, but eventually you'd run out of new foods and have to start eating bugs and other goofy shit. That is a good point. You'll never run out of food uh, because there's so many different cuisines and every single thing, like if I... It's not like you can only have one of one thing. You can only have one meal. So I can only have Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich one yeah. time in my life. But then I can go everywhere else and have spicy chicken sandwiches. So I'd have to go through every version of every meal of everything. I just yeah. wouldn't be able to get the one I really 
liked or that I wanted again. But you could always go, oh, this one's got coleslaw on it, so it's yeah. crunchy and cold. You know, there's there's <clears throat> different. That'd be that that's variety. It's the spice of life. Baby. Would there would there be a difference of like? One with like three drops of ketchup on it, or one with a one no. bunch of ketchup. No, I think that's kind of it. It, it has to be the per, the thing that's made. You're getting it from a different establishment every yeah. single time. It would force you to be like Anthony Bourdain. All this talk of fast food is making me sick. Yeah, sick. Yeah, I had two double cheeseburgers and then pissed out of my asshole for a full day. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. Brendan had to headline. It was we'll so talk bad. about it on the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would have rather seen the puke. Talk about something making you feel like Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did anyone ever check if they were on Brendan's special when he, when he was found with his phone when he died? <laughs> oh, um, very funny, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, T. Very I, funny at my think, expense. Because I, I was trying to think what it was going to be if I had uh-huh. to pick it, and I was between diner nachos oh. and uh, with just the, like with prime the rib. Meat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever had nachos from a diner. Oh, dude, yeah. I want to do that right now. Yeah. Like a big, like, super nacho platter from a diner with chili (laughs) on it, right? (laughs) But, uh, or prime rib, maybe. Prime rib? Yeah, I could do steak every night. You think so? But I think I'm going to go different. You are not going to be able to have steak every night. You will have four steaks, and that will be it. If I have this curse on me, I mean, how long do you really want to live? You know? Curse. The curse of having to eat something. (laughs) No, well, none, none of my real curses. It was a different thing every night. <laughs> I mean, you could get a year or two just out of a Chinese food menu. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, good point. See, I have no problem. Yeah, I, I think I could get a. I could do a new, different thing every single night because again, it's like you have chicken. Even if it's not like you can get the spicy chicken variety of everything, it's like you have to go just through the menu as in spicy chicken burger, or whatever, and then just one of each. Yeah, I could still do like chicken, chicken cacciatore, Mars, chicken yeah, Marcel. That's, yeah, that's or like all that. Yeah, all that stuff. Oh, you said that already. <laughs> in great detail. And you agreed. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm you even repeating. cited. Yeah, you even <laughs> cited my thing. You were like, I think like Feeny said. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I think we. I want to put on Patrice's hat. No, no. I said the next. <laughs> I said different every night. Oh, different every night. Which, con- which, nice con- 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 oh, con- hey. Look at that. Look at that, Anthony. Um, <laughs> this one comes from Tubbs. Here's the scenario: You go to Florida with your family for vacation. Oh, your mother's uh, brother's daughter's half sister comes along. Okay. An aunt brings up the fact that you aren't really related and she is fair game. Mm. What do you do? The aunt is say, her. Say the lineage again. It's mother. Your mother's brother. brother. Okay. So, so your, your uncle, uncle. Yeah. 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 Has a daughter. Uh huh. Whose half sister comes along. So they're not They're. I guess. So her daughter's half sister. So she's a half cousin. Yeah. Your, your uncle, I guess. Married her mom. She had a kid. From yeah, half sister means there's absolutely no yeah blood oh, okay. relation. Yeah, and if the aunt is saying oh. it's fair game, it's half. It means that your dad is her dad. Right? No, 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 yeah, no, no. You're it's, not your, it's it's your uncle. <laughs> marries a lady that already has a kid yeah. with another guy with another man. Oh, no, there's no real. Yeah, it's I'd fuck my aunt. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's. It's all pros to this. You don't have to have that. Hey, do you meet my girlfriend mm-hmm. conversation because your family yep. knows her already. Small right. wedding. Dude. Small wedding. They're not adding another plate to retarded the table kid. <laughs> retarded do you remember the one man show? <laughs> <laughs> New fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? And I can say it again. <laughs> yeah. There was a. <laughs> comic, which I don't even know whether to say his name or not, because I don't think he does comedy anymore, but he was one time in that, he was kind of known for being uh, kind of insane, I uh-huh. guess. Not so much with jokes, but just with like psychotic fun energy. And he would always hang out at uh, the show that Julio produced, and because he was part of that show and that crew. Oh, Jeff. Uh. And then, yeah. Oh, but, oh yes, yes, yes. But he did March Madness. DJ No Face. He did, DJ No Face. He did March Madness one time, and I think he went up against, like, I don't know who it was, but it was somebody who was, Of like, repute. It was, like, Michelle Wolf or something <laughs> like that. I think it was Michelle. Michelle Wolf, and he went up, and he just goes, yo, yo, I think I'm gonna fuck my aunt. And then it it murdered the room, Boom. and he won. Yeah, he won. Yeah, he, he beat, beat her. He beat like, like I smoke crack and fuck dirty homeless whores. What? 
and <laughs> boom, like crushed. Michelle's just like it would be like the most if, carefully dude, written White House. It, it would be like as if you were getting yelled at at a stoplight by like a homeless person and you brought them onto the yeah. stage of Caroline yeah, yeah. and they beat. He, he had a very like Takashi six nine yes. vibe. Yeah. Yes, wow. great that guy. You, great you comparison. DJ No Fist. Uh, he actually. We were we we like both went into a bathroom to like do coke or something. That sounds right. And he like called me out for shitting on him, which I didn't do. Like he was like, probably. He's didn't. like, no, I I, but I didn't. That was the thing. Like if I was like, did it, okay. I would have been like, all right, man. Well, no, I would try to talk my bad, out dude. Of it, but I was like, that literally <laughs> never happened. He was like, you told Benny D, blah blah blah, and I was like, what? No, and it, you know, it was a whole fucking thing. Does he still do comedy? I don't know. I hope he's still alive. I love. Uh, I I like. I drove him home once. <laughs> I downgraded. I like Jeff. I did. I like him fine. What's next? <laughs> he's actually Cerna style. Um, <laughs> Imagine he's now in government. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, this one comes from Cerna style. Oh. Here's the scenario: lovable. You find out that the lovable Brendan Sagalo is a human mogwai. If you feed him after midnight, he turns into Zach and Mika. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn. laughs> oh, sorry. Feed me anytime. I will turn into Zach and Miko. Anyway, uh, <laughs> pull up, pull up. He, Horse tu- it. he turns into a gremlin <laughs> after midnight. He, turn- he turns into a gremlin. Um, how will you stop him from eating after midnight? You can also assume he Trank dark. If you get him wet. No, Trank no. Dark. You just fill his apartment with vegetables. I would eat that. There you go. Yeah. You would not eat. Buy that. my groceries. No, you're not supposed to. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, I get it now. There you, you go. Well, very funny at my <laughs> expense. <laughs> that's going to be, that's my new catchphrase. That <laughs> <a title? laughs> what is that from? It's from Futurama. Is it? Yeah. What I'm saying? Yeah. No, no, no. The very funny at my ex. Oh, Johnny repeats. Fuck, Look at dude, that. No, I thought I made that up. <laughs> no way. Find it. And, and until I then, won't. I made it up. But it's weird. that. Well, I, then how do you make that that uh, uh, accusation? Accusation, Cause son. Because I think it's what it sounds like. And you also watch a ton of Futurama, do you not? I do. I don't watch that. No, he Futurama. hates Matt Groening. Yeah. No. Um, yes, I do. Tips. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, this what, what that was that was the end of the <laughs> that was the end of the Patreon questions. Thank you very much. Patreon.com slash scenario pod. Multiple tiers get multiple shit. We just did a live 100th Blunts with the Boys episode. It was great. Blunts with the Boys is a looser show. We smoke a little weed, obviously. We do that for this show. And yeah. then we uh, tell a bunch of stories, talk about weird shit, and it's uh it's a favorite of the patron. Yeah. So yeah. uh and also, yeah, check out we have so much backlog podcasts. It's nuts. So if you're new, you have access to basically like 300 podcasts. I was doing a solo podcast for a while. Feeny stuff with snarky is still up there. We have a yeah, ton. We have a ton of old episodes from the beginning of the pandemic. If you want to see hope, like glimmer of hope <laughs> yeah, on dude. March 17th of 2020, <laughs> sign the fuck up for the oh, Patreon yeah. dude, because we oh, yeah. thought it was going to be a quick podcast. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We thought we were going to, die by the end of the first. We'll just do it for a month just to help pad the no road. Yeah. (laughs) I couldn't be more happier. Also, you stop Brendan from eating after midnight by milking him. (laughs) (laughs) I think if you make him come really hard, he's going to sleep. That's true. Um, Yeah. I, you know, I've never eaten after I've come. That's something we just found out about me. (laughs) This one comes from Caitlin at the Patreon. Caitlin, would you rather be... (laughs) Would you rather be bald without cancer or have cancer with hair and like be really good looking? Either this is terrible or it's already been asked. I assure you it has not already been asked. No. Right? Would you I rather mean, be bald? With there's also no point in having cancer unless you're bald so you can use the baldness to then like your benefit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shave the eyebrows and all that stuff. Yeah, bald, no, bald, no cancer. Yeah, I'd take yeah. bald, no cancer. Bald, no yeah. cancer. I'm already. Get your head tattooed. <laughs> yeah. Or That's, a beard. Yeah. Ooh, head tattoo would look good on you. Wigs are, they said wigs are going to start you becoming have a head like tattoo? a thing now with men. I'm sure they, like a lot of men already for use. For women? Oh, yeah, dude. TikTok. Like, I have a TikTok algo problem where they're just pasting, they're shaving the middle mm-hmm. of people's heads and then fucking slapping a rug on and then they do a sick fucking skin fade from their shit hair oh, all the way into I the saw that. There was thing. A, it's unreal. I saw one video like that and it looked... But wouldn't you be like, I feel it on me. Wouldn't you like... Yeah, wouldn't, I, I don't know if I could... I mean, but then again, 
You look in the mirror and you see the guy you used to see before your your hair dropped dead on you, and then you uh, it doesn't matter, dude. Yeah, all you feel is how big your dick is because you have hair now. I guess if that's like twenty bucks, then maybe twenty bucks. It's gonna be like three hundred dollars. Three hundred. What? world are you living in dude i don't know i've no one of maury's of wig <laughs> i have no concept of <laughs> <in> the <pool. laughs> all right um yeah i think we're all going with bald and no cancer yeah but uh thanks for the question this one comes from david we got time for uh like two or three more questions oh, this wow. one comes from david depending on how long this next one is um <laughs> we'll see thanks for letting us know how time works <laughs> I know how time works. Do not know how money works. Know how time works, though. (laughs) Pretty hilarious bit at my expense. (laughs) (laughs) This one comes gonna get get all fast. Hey, time is money. Get it moving. (laughs) In this case, it is not money. Um, This one comes from David. Here's the scenario. (laughs) <laughs> you adjust the mic one more time Falling wow. apart How have you gotten higher and stupider Since you stopped smoking weed an hour ago You went to Jupiter <laughs> Hey, here's the scenario Both mics have to choose between getting fucked by Brendan's four incher To, his, to completion right now Or suck wins. the opposite mic's dick to completion And just because Brendan will feel left out Same question, but he gets to pretend he's been cloned And choose between which mic to blow If that's his choice Which one of us would you blow? Um, mm, God, there's so many good reasons for both of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough for me. My, uh, Feeny seems like it would be like all taken care of down there, you know. Clean. Oh, I think the opposite. Um, but Mike's you, a mess. you've no, I'm I'm fucking hairless, dude. I'm like Bigglesworth. But, uh, I but Stop adjusting the mic. But. It's Why? the you worst. Hear it. You're very loudly. Yeah, yeah. You can hear when you start slapping the microphone. The metal. <laughs> uh, well, now just for that, Feeny. No, but your. I feel like your ass would be nice to grab if I was like sucking your dick like that. <laughs> 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 Dude, that made me feel good. Thank you. Thank so you. okay, I know I wasn't included. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zach's here, everybody. Zach, I'm gonna go with Feeny because Feeny looks like when he comes, he says G Willikers. <laughs> G Willikers. <laughs> Do you have a Scooby Doo vibe? <laughs> yeah, you go jinkies. <laughs> um, I'm a yeller. I like yell. I remember really? this one time I, I was uh, I was at my where was I? I was at my friend Tim's frat house, and his friend George was having sex. And I've never heard somebody do this, but I guess he knew that we were just in the house and could potentially hear him. But uh-huh. he bellowed, "I'm gonna come!" And then, <laughs> and then, and then just finished. <laughs> but it was like He Man meets Goliath from Gargoyles. It was do you awesome. Think he did that because you guys were in there, or do you think he really does that? I don't know. He he said he was blacked out. So he thinks that might be just inside of him. <laughs> but he, uh, you know, that was it. Dude, I bet that feels so good. Yeah. Oh, I've done that. You've never. And then go, I'm going to come. <laughs> like scream it. Yeah. yeah. I bet that feels awesome. Yeah. Brace yourself, fatso. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing it in my own hand. <laughs> what was the question? I don't Dick know. You're d- oh. For them, would they rather get. Oh Talk yeah. By you or, uh, Let's do one more. Other one. Let's do one more. I, and like I said, I could take your penis without wincing. <laughs> you don't think so? It's like a pig in a blanket. What do you mean you don't think so? I just said it's I think It's not a pig so. in the bu- in a blanket. It gets hard and gets big and gets thick. <laughs> no, it and doesn't. I bet it would, <laughs> no, it <laughs> doesn't. Yes, it does. You very much documented on multiple should public I, record that should, it is not. Should I go get my dick hard right now? Come on out and show you all my fucking <laughs> whatever my dick. Your four inch dick. My four inch. My four inch, uh, but uh, monster. How long would you say a cuck to? Your your dick is like an Italian man. It's five three, but jacked. Jess had no fucking idea what she was talking about. You said it, and then she corroborated without knowing what you were talking. Yeah, that never happened. (laughs) 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 All right, all right, all right. This one comes from William. Great job at the Emmaus Theater. Thank you, William. Thanks for being there, dude. When in bed, would you rather never be able to orgasm or have your partner never be able to orgasm? Uh, that's an easy question. <laughs> Who cares? I live that reality already. <laughs> yeah, let's get that out of the way. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the Irish Catholic in me would not 
be able to, it would get old fast. It would drive me crazy. I'd rather, I'd rather her finish and me not. I'm killing myself one way or another. Yeah. It just depends <laughs> when. No, but then you could always jerk off later. <coughs> no, you can't. Wait, yeah, what? Yeah, you can. You While just, you're having... It's not during sex. You're not make. You're not coming. But oh, making... you can never come, right? No, no. A, during no, sex with her. But when you're alone. Oh. When you're with a partner. I don't, think, I don't think my wife would care for that all that much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I bet sure. she'd dry up pretty quick. What, but the then maybe maybe I'd just orgasm. look her in the eye and jerk off after, and just that's how I'd have to finish. Yeah, I don't. I mean, you're, on top, the rules I mean, are your own. Yeah, 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 at that point, it's it's all you, man. Do you, th- do you think that's a suitable <laughs> that's, replacement that's I do now. for intimacy? Now, by partner, can you cheat? Oh, what? yeah. I guess you can't. Well, no, I think it means or you can't your sexual no partner matter. at that time. Okay, not like a wife or anything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so whoever you're currently having sex with, yeah, you have to like. I mean, so yeah, you can. Yeah, why can't yeah. you just pull out and jerk off, then? Because that's still part of sex, but you have to maybe Jeez, walk like, to another room. Maybe that's how yeah. you come. Do so you get very close to coming and you no. just can't do you, that? No, no that, you can't get close. Yeah, that's you brutal. feel it right. Like No, you can't even. That's, 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 that's brutal. You plateau. Yeah. But so you just, just do your job and you go, I'll be right back going to the bathroom. I bet a lot of people live like that now. A hundred percent. There is probably like, I would say probably 50 to 60 percent of america lives that way right now yeah and i bet 80 percent of that is women like if you think of all of like the men in the south that have the entire that like that a lot of florida people have that attitude of of like but they don't want to because they're with their wife no i don't even mean that i mean i guess that's also encompassing into it but i mean under the umbrella of just the like it don't matter if my wife comes i'm the you know what i mean like i think it's more like neurological than that i think it's like all in their heads and then (laughs) what? <laughs> because I said neurological. Uh huh. <laughs> Big word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm curious with how you use it. Oh, I heard that's really, really common. It's yeah. something like 75% of People... women who date men at this table. <laughs> yeah. People get in their heads. <laughs> People get in their heads and then they can't perform. Or like they, they can. They so you think everybody's perform. sweetly attempting to make each other come but falling short? Yeah, I think there's oh, more so wow. than people that do that just that's kind brave. of disregard their partner's needs. What? Yeah, that's brave to think that. Yeah, way. it's dumb. That it's it's like a very like rainbows and sugar pies. What do you mean? No, I, you think that everybody earnestly is trying to make each other come? No, I never said that. You that's did. I you said <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> I was. You ever get really I was jealous kind of, of stupid agree. people? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yes. <laughs> I was. I, they, I was just fought. Like, there's, they're, they're never in their head. Yeah. They don't have anxiety. <laughs> that they're I, not. That, like, you're wrong about out. both of those. Yeah, it's weird. Brendan is only smart when I'm, it comes to panicking. No, I just smoked weed. <laughs> oh, I wasn't talking about that. you. Uh, I just mean like a oh, real were, oaf. A real I oaf of a dude. <laughs> I thought you were. No, I mean just like a real oaf of a dude. Again, probably yeah. Yeah. never had yeah. problems. Maybe use a hard. different word than oaf. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just a fat white idiot. Jock. <laughs> a jock. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. All now right. We know All it right. can't be Brendan. <laughs> it still hurts, but I'll take it. <laughs> you know, like just a real moron probably never has to think about it. They're just hard and ready to fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can, I can just go. Bye, oh, everyone. Do- Are we leaving? Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching the show. We'll do the outro, I guess. Bye, everyone. Thank you very much to Zach Amico for being our guest. Go follow him. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Cheers. Bye, everybody. Here's the scenario is Mike Feeney, Mike Cannon, and Brendan Sagalow. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. For more information about the show, visit Here's the Scenario.com. 